In this example, we'll factor several expressions using algebra tiles. In part A, we'll factor 9x squared minus 16. Draw a grid to position the algebra tiles. We represent 9x squared with 9 large yellow squares. We represent minus 16 with 16 small red squares. Fill up the lower left quadrant with yellow rectangles. Now fill the upper right quadrant with red rectangles. All of the rectangles cancel out, which is what we expect since there is no middle term in the trinomial. To get back the nine large yellow squares, we need three yellow rectangles in the left column and three yellow rectangles in the top row. To get back the 12 red rectangles, place four small red squares in the top row. We can get back the rest of the tiles by putting four small yellow squares in the left column. The left column is 3x plus 4. The top row is 3x minus 4. The factors are 3x plus 4 and 3x minus 4. In part b, we'll factor 16 minus 9x squared. Draw a grid to position the algebra tiles. Use 16 small yellow squares to represent positive 16. Normally these tiles go in the lower right quadrant, but it's okay to switch the quadrants. We still get a correct answer. Now represent minus 9x squared with 9 large red squares. We can fill up the lower left quadrant with red rectangles. Now fill the last quadrant with 12 yellow rectangles. All of the rectangles cancel out, which is what we expect since there is no middle term in the trinomial. If we want to get back the 16 yellow squares, put four small yellow squares in the left column and four small yellow squares in the top row. We can get back the 12 yellow rectangles by putting three yellow rectangles in the top row. We can get back the rest of the tiles by putting three red rectangles in the left column. The left column is 4 minus 3x. The top row is 4 plus 3x. The factors are 4 minus 3x and 4 plus 3x. In part C, we'll factor 16x squared plus 24x plus 9. Draw a grid to position the algebra tiles. We can represent 16x squared with 16 large yellow squares. Use 9 small yellow squares to represent 9. Fill in the lower left quadrant with 12 yellow rectangles. Now fill the upper right quadrant with 12 yellow rectangles. We now have 24 yellow rectangles altogether, and this represents the middle term of the trinomial, 24x. We can get back the 16 large yellow squares by putting 4 yellow rectangles in the left column, and four yellow rectangles in the top row.
we can get back the 12 yellow rectangles by putting three small yellow squares in the top row. We can get back the rest of the tiles by putting three small yellow squares in the left column. The left column is 4x plus 3. The top row is also 4x plus 3. The factored form of the trinomial is 4x plus 3 squared. In part D, we'll factor 1 minus 16x plus 64x squared. Draw a grid to position the algebra tiles. We use one small yellow square to represent 1. Now we'll use 64 large yellow squares to represent 64x squared. Fill up the lower left quadrant with eight red rectangles. Now fill the upper right quadrant with eight red rectangles. We have 16 red rectangles altogether, and this represents the middle term of the trinomial minus 16x. The small yellow square inside the grid can be made with one small yellow square in the left column and another small yellow square in the top row. We can get back the red rectangles within the grid by putting eight red rectangles in the top row. We can get back the rest of the tiles by putting eight red rectangles in the left column. The left column is 1 minus 8x. The top row is 1 minus 8x as well. The factored form of the trinomial is 1 minus 8x squared.